Hello everyone, this is lesson four of week one and we're going to be learning all things 3D shapes. We've done a lot of 2D shapes, welcome to 3D shapes. Um, you're going to be reasoning, you're going to be classifying, you're going to be using all your knowledge of faces. So, the most important thing about 3D shapes is that they have faces and edges. Um, how many faces? I have no idea. Oh, well, how many faces does 3D shape have? You can answer, see if you're correct. Well, apparently, if I, I've already clicked on six, hooray! But you've got one, two, three, then you have another one this side, four, five, and then six, you have the base. So I got that right. Hooray. I don't know why, it's giving you the answers. How many faces does this 3D shape? Um, and what shapes are the faces as well, very importantly? So it's got one, two, three, four, and then five at the bottom. Oh, done it again. How many faces? This PowerPoint is not behaving today. It deserves a red card. How many faces does this 3D shape have? What's it called as well? Yep, it's got five. One, two, three, four, five. It's like the tenth. Okay, what's this shape called? Prism. P R I S M. What type of prism is it? Look at the shape of the face. Even without you, I'm drinking tea. Um, yep, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What type of prism is this? What type of shape is this? The face? Then that'll tell you what type of pr prism it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so which of these 3D shapes can you name and describe? You've already had a go at doing some of them. Um, in your maths book, could you make a little tiny fact sheet on one page about all the different shapes it could be? So here you go. Cylinder, three faces, two edges, zero vertices. Hexagonal prism, because it's got a hexagonal face. Eight faces, 18 edges, 12 vertices. Cube, same again. Pentagonal prism, seven faces, 15 edges, 10 vertices. What is the word vertice? If there's one, it's a vertex. If there are many, it's vertices. And they are the corners of the 3D shape. Okay, it's gone all dark again. I don't know why. Hopefully you can see this. Triangular prism, cuboid, Square base perimeter. So in your math book, you don't have to draw them, but could you make a little fact sheet for each of the shapes, each of the 3D shapes? Um, this might help you match the 2D shape next to the correct 3D shape. Um, I don't know if I've saved this sheet. If you haven't, if I haven't, then you can download it from the Twinkle page, um, but you don't really need to worry about that too much. Why do you think? These five 3D shapes are called the platonic solids. Why do you think? Have a look at them. What have they all got in common? What's the same here? What's the same here? Okay, each one is a polyhedron, a solid with flat faces. They are special because every face is a regular polygon of the same size and shape. So with a cube, you've got all faces that are squares. Um, um, yeah, like I said, they are all 3D shapes with the same shape face. They're named after Plato, a famous Greek philosopher and mathematician. Maybe it might be a nice idea after you've done this work to look him up a bit more. Cool fella. <laughs> okay, and now you can just crack on, download the um, thing. Oh, well, there you go. It's basically giving you the task that you're doing today anyway. So well done, you've completed the task already. See if you can find some other 3D shapes. Maybe use mathsisfun.com um, to give you some ideas. And there you have it. There's lesson four. I hope you're enjoying these shape lessons. Um, I hope you're still using a ruler. Uh, yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs>